What's up, beautifuls? Let's play some more Battlefront 2, boys. I'm in a Clone Wars freaking fix. That's all I'm going to do is play some Clone Wars. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to be playing some more Galactic Republic stuff. Probably not going to do any, like, Resistance, First Order, or any of that stuff. It's actually kind of disappointing. They don't have, a like, an Empire and a Rebellion when they have Galactic Republic and the Separatists, and then they have Resistance and First Order, but they don't have Empire and Rebellion. So I'm like, huh? Seems really strange, but oh well. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing. We're we'll playing some of that. Everything looks like it's going well. And I think we are good to go. So, alright, let's get this party rocking. Apparently, I can't invite everybody to the party. But I can go like that. Strike back. Three rounds of strike. Let's strike. Mm. Yeah, Separatist Alliance, Galactic Republic, Resistance, First Order. I'm like, yeah, hey, come on, man. Whatever, though. It's all good. Freaking get this dude. Last night I was watching a whole bunch more Clone Wars and stuff. I'm still on the first season. Ooh, Felucia. Let's go, dude. Yeah, I'm still on the first season, though. So, like, man, getting through Ooh. all those episodes are good. Um, convention. I skipped over. What the freak? I guess I'll join him. What? It's full. <laughs> Come on, bro. What the fetch? What do you mean you couldn't grant me rewards and junk? <laughs> Yo, apparently it put you into a match, but it didn't put me into it. And now I can't join. It, didn't put, it, says, it says there's no players in here. What the freak? Literally, it says there's two open spots. Yeah, it says the game you're trying to join is full. Please wait or join a different game. Okay, one guy just joined in. Uh, that, yeah, it's, what the freak? Because it's completely full. Okay, hold up, hold up. What the freak? And you was a party dude. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know why it booted me. That's strange. <laughs> what evs, though? It's all good. But it's height. It's height. Alright, he's back in here. Uh, now let's try it again. And you haven't played on Felucia yet, have you? I played one game, but it was like towards the end. Oh. Oh, yeah. See, I've only played. I, I started playing on there once. But then it, the same thing happened. You, it didn't let you join, so like, I quit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. But it's all good. Lucia doesn't like you, Joel. <laughs> yeah, for real. But instead of getting Naboo a million times. Although I think we, we did really good last night when we were playing on Naboo. Other than, I mean, yeah. we got to the very last thing and then we stopped him, but... Yeah. And we stopped him good, too. It wasn't like, it wasn't like, that like close. Do you use the Arc Trooper a lot? Or at all? No. I was use, I've been using my heavy a lot, obviously, but like I've been trying to get on my regular guys, which basically just means I've been using assault a bunch. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's doing that thing. Okay, we're doing that. So I, I'm just using assault right now, but is the arc trooper good? Like I haven't really tried them. Um, 
Yeah, I like Dark Troopers. I mean, they have the, like, dual-wield pistols, so, like, you can't really take out a ton of enemies at distance, but, like, you can, like, yeah. you know, two shots from each blaster and they're done. So you're just like... Oh, yeah. So it's quick if they're close, huh? Yeah. And they got a lot... It, it's kind of like Assault, but you have a fetch and a health. So I really like the Ark Troopers. Plus they have some sweet, sweet skins. Oh my gosh, yep. Nuts. Droid army or clones? Ooh, clones. I mean, I do like the commando droids, though. The commando droids are really cool. But the, the clones, I feel like, are just that much better, you know? I don't Actually, I don't think they're better. I think they're a lot cooler, because the skins and stuff you can put on them. Plus, you know, it's the freaking Republic. Oh, Capital Supremacy? It's fun, but dude, it can take forever. Because, I mean, theoretically, you could go back and forth indefinitely. I don't think there's a time limit or anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, theoretically, we could have just held them off out of the reactor room, and then gone back to the planet, won the planet, go over to their ship, and won. Uh, it's not bad. I, Chewie's so much better. It's just kind of like a cut down version of Chewie. I'll just stay here. Now you are. Uh, I'm running over there now. B. Hopefully our other guy who is still not spawned in in like five years, he's gotta be A. Will spawn in over here too. There's... Son of a gun. Oh. Oh my gosh, no! I can't run or dive or anything. That blows. I gotta try Anakin. Oh, 
I'm gonna try out that Arc Trooper. I think this is a good one for the Arc Trooper too. Rocket fetching blew me up. I got guys coming behind me shooting at me too. This is all. Whoa, that feed! Oh my gosh. I'm about to die. There's Grievous in there. Yep, I died. Holy balls. He just freaking did like a triple backflip in there and whooped me. Yeah, dude's not even playing. Yoda man. Dang! I was going off with that Wookie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be heavy, dude. They're gonna, they're gonna freaking, they're gonna start wrecking us. I need some. Oh, freaking teammate, you freaking stepping in front of me right now. Oh, my freaking head. Oh, there's Grievous and there's Bosk. I'm dead. teammate would actually do anything. Is this Capital Supremacy? I've not played this before. No, this is just co-op. Uh, it's basically... It's the same maps for the Republic and the... Um, and the Separatists. It's just, it depends... Who you're, whoever you're playing as de depends on uh, if you're attacking or defending. Gosh. All right, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm weak. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, this freaking Grievous is coming after me. Oh, he got me. Just stay right there. Ah, oh, what the freak, dude? Ever gonna spawn? And there it is. Dang it! Yeah, the other dude. Wait, it doesn't even say he's in the match. 
What? Well, that was kind of lame. Jeez, dude. I mean, I did get a fetch on scoring junk. That was good, but like... I mean, I ranked everybody up. That was good. Chewy. Bunch of different peeps. Here we go, Genosis. I'm hoping I can uh, finish up my assault guy in this game. I kind of want to try as the Separatist at, at some point. Because I really like the Commando droids and like the Super Battle droid. Those ones are pretty cool. Yeah. They seem so freaking overpowered as crap, dude. Serious. I think the commando droids are better than the arc troopers. It's just like the separatists just don't have any really cool looking people. Like there's so so many cool like appearances for the clones and peeps. Separatists it's like Wow, I get a yellow stripe on my battle droid. <laughs> And you're like, well, that sucks. What? Dude freaking shot me while he was rolling. Yeah, I don't get that. Like his guns pointed at the ground, it's just like, Pow! wrecked him. Wait, we're going A? I've never even been to A on this map. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, might as well try it. I got sniped. Behind us. Ah, uh, behind. Is the 
Woo, breaking up my guys tons. I want to be the tank on this one now. Actually, I don't know if it's available on this one. I think it's only available on like the third and the fourth. I kind of want to try A. Dooku. Gosh, I need to move up. I'm like stuck. Oh, that's a guy. Some good camouflage. Pushing back a little bit. Sick. What was that? Oh, Xbox. So cool. In the freaking ATRT. Whooping over here, dude. Yo, what up, Thunder Ninja? How's it going, dude? Let's go, dude. 33 kill streak. Just 
swinging it way too easy. Oh my gosh! There's freaking Dooku chilling right there. Dude, I got so many points from that. I got freaking 20,000. I'm just smoking them all. Alright, let's go. Get in the freaking tank. We got freaking Bosco up here too. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> I guess it's the same, I think it's the same exact thing as the ATRT, it's just considered armor. Freaking get out of my way, man. I can't. I don't get that. Last game that I was playing, some dude kept, kept trying to jump on top of me, too. I was like, what the frick are you doing? How is this supposed to help you in any way? For real. A 77 kill streak. Let's go, dude. I'm gonna be chewy. I'm gonna freaking ball up as him. Yeah, co-op is just like against computers and stuff. But you you're playing as like a squad of like four real people against just a bunch of AI. But it counts for like all your multiplayer stuff too, so it, it's pretty good. So if you you can rank up all your people really really quick in this mode, I would say a lot faster than even the normal. Woohoo! Pounded Dooku. Squeebus and Dooku both dead.
Oh, it didn't do it. Dang it. Oh, on Galactic Assault? Dude, let's go. Alright, let me chew again. Alright, I'm being chewy again. We should get somebody to contest it. Actually, get onto it, you freaking idiot. Oh, that's grievous. I'm about to die, I'm about to die, I'm about to die. I freaking died, no! Who's that right next to me? Oh my gosh. Hmm. Yo, what up, dude? We'll be back. Twenty to twenty eight from armor. That was pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Sounds good, bro. Alright, see you later, bro. Have a good one. You too. Now we're going to Camino. <laughs> Lego, dude. Camino's pretty cool. I like this one. Dude, I really don't like ranking up officer and specialist. They're just really not that great. So, the separatists think they can hurt the Republic by striking at our birthplace. We'll show them what mistake they've made. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll be able to get at least officer up to the purple cards. And then we'll I guess, see from there or something, I don't know. Like, why does the pistol have so much recoil, too? That's another thing I don't really get. What? I hope there's better weapons and junk down the line to unlock for this guy. Taking some damage there. Ah, nuts. Jet Trooper. Yeah, I should probably rank him up a little bit. I'll get going as this guy. Oh, I just spawned right in, getting shot already. That's cool. That's not too bad. Let's go, dude. Helping my homie out over there. Got that cat. How was my day? My day was pretty good. Got some stuff done. Watched a little bit of Clone Wars. Dude, every time I watch Clone Wars, I like I recognize 
uh, from some of the episodes, like, I mean, for, what was it, like, five, six years there? That's basically all the LEGO Star Wars sets were, were Clone Wars stuff. So they based them off of, like, tons of things out of the episode. So almost every single episode, there's, like, a set, a LEGO set from them. And every time I see that in the series, in the TV show, I'm like, man, I really want to get that now. Wait, did I shoot that? I don't know if I did. But, man, just, I gotta, I want to, like, add them all up. And see how much every single one of the Lego sets that I don't have right now would cost me. But I'm sure it'd be like well over $5,000. If not more. But bare minimum five grand to get all the Lego sets that I, that I don't have. And that may or may not even be counting like the Ultimate Collector Series ones. Like the freaking Millennium Falcon. That one's like $800. They have a Death Star for like $500 a bunch of other stuff. I've got to feel bad for the battle droids. Uh, yeah, some of the... I feel like that's one thing I did like about Clone Wars is some episodes really kind of humanized the battle droids and made you, like, kind of feel a little bit more remorseful. Because in, like, episodes 2 and 3, and even episode 1, you know, in the prequels, the battle droids are just there, and they're just like, eh, no, whatever, they're just mindless drones. But in Clone Wars, you kind of got to see that they have a little bit of a personality. Which, I mean, if you're thinking, like, literally and logically, like, all battle droids should be the exact same. I mean, in the movie, in, uh, episodes 1 and 2 in Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones, they don't have, like, anything really to say. Episode 3, they kind of did. But in Clone Wars, you know, you have a lot more, like, kind of quippy remarks, and they actually get, like, dialogue that they get to say other than stuff like, Roger, Roger, and different stuff like that. I really do like Clone Wars. Clone Wars is such a great series. And I think that they should make, like, at least three more seasons of Clone Wars. I feel like there's still so much content they can do. Because, like, they never really ended Clone Wars. Like, I mean, you could end it basically being like, okay, here's the series going right up to Episode 3. This is literally how they begin the attack above Coruscant in Episode 3. But even if they did an episode like that, you could still easily do episodes in between. Because Clone Wars itself isn't necessarily 100% chronological. A lot of the episodes kind of switch around. Some of the seasons have episodes that go back before these ones, and, you know, yada, yada, yada. Like, there's a... I think it's, like, Clone Cadets from Season 3 actually goes before Rookies in Season 1. So there's a lot of, like, mixing and matching between episodes and stuff. Plus, I'm sure they could throw in some, like, brand new storylines and a whole bunch of different stuff, too, in the middle. And wouldn't change really anything about it and just be more content. And I think that's what they should do. I mean, they could honestly continue to just pump out more and more Clone Wars stuff, be really cool. I really hope that they do, because Clone Wars is sick, and I think that they could definitely add in a lot more stuff for it. Okay, I don't get this. It hops up all the time. Sorry, we couldn't grant your reward. Please try again or check your inventory for new items. Like every time I play. Okay, let's check Chewy. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't upgrade any of that. Um... Eh... Yeah, I don't know. He doesn't have a lot of great abilities. Yo, what up? Okay, so Chewie's good. I don't think I really use anybody else besides him. I mean, Anakin. Like, meh. Um...
Galactic Assault? Yeah, I'll try that. For sure. Interceptor Bomber. Ooh. Right, let's add something onto this one. Auto repairs work faster. Duration with the left ability for the armor class. Oh, what the heck? Total health. That could be good. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade some of this stuff too. There we go. There's level four on that. That's maxed out. It's a purple card. Fast recharge. And bam. There's purple cards on all of them. Okay. I don't need Commando Droid. Aerial. Which one's this? Is this the Jet Trooper guy? Yep. Let's put on a third card for him. Well, maximum health? Heck yeah, dude. Why have I not been doing that? And then Enforcer is... Like the Wookiee Warrior guy. Maximum health. Oh yeah, dude. 20% rather than 13? That's a good deal. You getting a food coma? <laughs> That's how I felt over Christmas. <laughs> just hanging out with family, just constantly snacking and eating. Alright. Sweet. Let go. He's all purple. Let's see, specialist. I could probably upgrade the. No, requires level 22. Huh. What am I at? 19? Okay. Officer? And Alex Hackerson? Yeah. I hope that they make another game like Modern Warfare. Like a Modern Warfare 2, but not like MW2, but like Modern Warfare 2, like the 2019 game. So I think there's still more they could do in that universe and be really cool. I mean, they did a good job having Modern Warfare be a prequel to, like, Call of Duty 4. That was nice. Um, I think that's pretty much all I could really do. 35. Let's see if there's a better pistol or anything. No? Yeah. Hmm, <clears throat> not great. But I suppose it's whatever. Galactic Republic, is there a better looking one? Hey, that looks sick. Oh my gosh, definitely gotta be that guy. Oh yeah, dude. Galactic Republic? Alright, anything I can do for Obi-Wan? Nope. Obi Wan set. Chewy. I think we already looked at Chewy. Chewy's good until 25. One more level and we can upgrade those to a third level Yoda. Yes, I can. There we go. Presence is active for longer. I think it's only like one second extra, but eh. Yeah. For three seconds rather than two. But it's pretty good. I think that's... yeah. That's all I can do there for those guys. So let's do Galactic Assault. Ooh, or Capital Supremacy. You want me to do Galactic Assault or Capital Supremacy? Favorite Galactic Assault map for the Clone Wars? I really do like Geonosis. I think Geonosis is sick. I don't love Naboo. But I think Geonosis is pretty great. On Crate? I don't know if I've ever played on this one. Huh. Abandoned Rebel Outpost. Hmm. Okay. Let's try it out. So we're either going to be the First Order or the Resistance. 
Ooh, speaking of which, I have another Lego set. I think I'm going to try and build, like, one a day. So this is the Pasana Speeder Chase. So I'm going to try and build this one. Woo! Pick up Ion Disruptor. Let's freaking go, dude. Uh, how do we get over there? This is such a cool map. Kashyyyk is great. Yeah, I like playing on Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk's pretty cool. Destroy the walkers. Alright, let's push out, boys. Ah, oh, we got me with a nade. Dang it. No, I don't want assault again. Gosh darn it. Is that guy really at the spawn? Oh my gosh. Destroy the walkers. Oh, and he's already back up. Oh, I just got one-shotted by a sniper dude who's literally just sitting there camping. Nice. Playing Battlefront, but you're playing it like Call of Duty. <laughs> That's cool. What are these dudes doing? Oh, another sniper guy. Who's apparently in a rock or something. Alright, come on guys, we're getting blasted out here. What? How come he can two-shot me with whatever that thing is? My gun's not that great. ATM6. I didn't know that's what those were called. Alright, I guess I could try the officer a little bit. Yeah, do we. Guys, we gotta pick up these ion disruptors. What the heck are we doing? up nerds here we go I can pick one up disruptor rifle out of range what do you mean out of range oh my gosh he's looking at me How close do I need to get? Oh, that's a guy. Do I keep it after I die? I hope so, because I think I'd be pretty screwed if not. Oh my gosh, there's a guy. Oh my gosh, what the freak? That's Grievous! And I dropped it, I think. I didn't know you could... Oh, yeah, you can. Huh. Gosh, freaking dang it, guys. We are so screwed. Everybody's defeated. Nobody can wants to respawn. Yeah, oh my gosh, Grievous is right freaking here. Uh no, it'll just overheat and then you just gotta wait. Okay, peeps. Ooh, 91, and they're halfway. We got it. It took them about halfway for us to get it down to 9. 9 damage to it. Oh my goodness, that sucks. Hello. I'm so screwed. Oh my gosh. I'll, I guess I'll try heavy now. 
Guys, do you realize we gotta stop the AT-ATs? I guess it's, what, an ATM-6 or something? Oh my gosh, fall back. Sick. Oh my gosh, and they got ATSTs and Sith Troopers chilling out there. They just got everybody. Yeah, dude, I got 40 guys on my team. And nobody seems to know what they're doing. Alright, let's grab some freaking ion disruptors, people. Let's play the objective. Do what we're supposed to. I hope that helped. Wait, did he just fall all the way down? That would have been sick. Oh my gosh, no, he's back up. And there's guys to my left. Bro. My team is getting whooped. There, it's it's pretty much there. Like, we're, we're done. Nobody... There's an Ion Disruptor right freaking here, guys. 39 teammates. Like, what the freak? Okay, now how the fetch do I get out of here? Oh, and then it freaking shoots me. No, the... First order ATST. Come on, guys, pick that up. Immediately blasted by that freaking ATST back there. Okay, we got it down. We're, yeah, there's, it's impossible for us to win at this point. Nice one, Han Solo. You're definitely, you know, helping us out a lot by hanging out back here, dude. Okay, we got some ion disruptors we gotta get, guys. That's so weird, seeing Grievous roll around in here. My favorite character in Star Wars? Ooh. I don't know if I have a one specific favorite character. I really do like Rey. I know a lot of people are like, Oh no, Anakin's so much cooler than Rey. But I don't know, I really like Rey. Especially after Rise of Skywalker, I think she's such a great character. I can't hit it. That's cool. And there's freaking Grievous. Dude's still alive. Just hanging out as Grievous. Well, they're here. So that's it. We lost. New objective. Destroy the walkers. I literally spawned in right next to... Heaven's sake. Holy smokes. Wait, how are we supposed to destroy the walkers from inside? Their top guy has 57 eliminations. Oh, Lord, help us. And the ATSTs are just freaking slapping us up from outside. Oh, and there's Grievous. Yeah, where's our heroes at? Where's all our freaking Jedi and people?
And there's just an ATST inside? What? How are we supposed to counter that? There's an ATST inside. Losing transports? What? Why can't I shoot? Oh my gosh, ATST is going to blast me. <laughs> well, we're 100% we're screwed. Like, there's no doubt about it. Oh, there's those little ice people. Ice wolf things. Suck a fat one. Freaking Sith troopers are so OP. Oh my gosh, now we gotta get another hundred. I think it's just max number of heroes in general in play. Okay, guys. Hopefully, they can't get ATSTs in here, but I wouldn't be surprised. Oh yeah, Vader or freaking Grievous is still alive from forever ago. You know, just in case you were wondering. Dude, pretty sure he's been alive this whole entire time. No thanks to our heroes, though. What? He's right next to us, guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, for real. I don't. <sighs> Wouldn't be surprised if we see that ATM6 just chilling right here. Oh my gosh. How about we have our heroes, you know, people with lightsaber actually start taking out other people with lightsabers? That'd be cool. Instead of just con consistently dying. Oh my gosh. There's. They have four freaking villains right there. They got Kylo Ren, Dooku, Grievous, and Vader. And we have Luke, who's hiding in a corner. Look, there's Grievous again. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, well, we got Kylo, and we've only taken out 16 of their guys. 16? No, who put down that shield? Thanks, you just wasted my freaking heavy thing. We've taken out 24 of their guys. Oh my gosh, if our guys would stop hiding in corners, Luke is still alive, but he hasn't done anything. He just like keeps fleeing and then yeah Luke is just hiding back behind this thing all right somebody one of these villains needs to just kill Luke yeah dude we just got 100% screwed they're yeah their team is playing heroes and villains for real Luke did nothing like why pick a hero if you're just gonna hide like congratulations Luke you didn't do anything but we lost Golly. Some people. Like, it's one thing to, like, run out and just do nothing and constantly die. To just rush out in the open and get wasted. But it's another thing to literally just be hiding behind boxes. When you're a Jedi, when you have a lightsaber. 
Meanwhile, our dudes are getting sliced up by Vader and by Grievous and everybody. Ah, yeah, no. I'll back out of that one. Woo! All right. Let's take a look at this Lego set, though. Oh, I don't like stickers in Lego sets. I would honestly rather pay extra money, pay more money, for them to just print it on to the pieces. Man, and my manual is all freaking. Ah, come on, man. Alright, I'm gonna try a Separatist Alliance one. What reward is it talking about? Ugh. Ooh, Kaminu. So we gotta attack on Kaminu. We're not defending this time. Ooh, check out this set. We get Ray, BB-8, and two Stormtroopers. That's pretty cool. Bag number three. Bag number two. Over there. Alright, here we go. Assault. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever played as the Separatists. I've played as the First Order, played as the Resistance, played as the Republic, but I've never done this as the Separatist Alliance. Come on, I got a bunch of... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, dude, I got a bunch of droids chilling right here. Oh my gosh! I do have a bunch of droids chilling right there, but they're not doing jack. Ooh, droidica. I'm going to try it. Never played as one before. Very odd. Yeah, same. I feel like when it comes to placing all the... The stickers, I'm just like, alright, ready, set, <clears throat> and I place it over here on accident. And I'm like, well, I guess that's where it's staying for the rest of the time. Is that a wheel form? Wait, I wonder if I can run over people in wheel form. Uh, it didn't look like I could hurt him at all or anything. That kind of sucks. But he was kind of interesting, so I'll try that again. Oh my gosh, I almost rolled off the edge. Ah, it was chewy. Run, roll, 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 roll away. I'm freaking done. So Droidica can't roll. He's like, all right, I'll just like do scoot, 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 scoot. Super slow. B2 Super Battle Droid. Count Dooku. 
Oh yeah, I wonder what villains you could play as in this one. Obviously Dooku and Grievous. Pretty sure I've seen Bosk on some of these. Which is weird because was Bosk I mean I think Bosk was in Clone Wars in a couple of spots, but like Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, ah Clones are everywhere. I mean, it is Camino, but still. Alright, let's try the commando droid. Where is that guy? Ah. Yeah, I do like the blaster on the commando droid a lot better than the arc trooper's blaster. Cuz this one's it's basically just like a soul. They did a great job with this game and with all these like locations and stuff in general. Like this is so cool. see anybody. Where are they? There's one. I also like how it's like time period appropriate though that they're wearing the phase one helmets and the phase one armor. That's a cool little detail that they've had for this one. So what did you guys think about Episode 9 in the sequel trilogy? Like, personally, I liked it, but, like, I'm hearing people, there's, like, a general consensus kind of going around about, like, Star Wars fatigue, where people are just like, oh, yeah, Star Wars, yeah, no, cool, like, I mean, Star Wars has always been huge, like, Star Wars is, I think, the biggest, like, piece of pop culture ever. So I don't think Star Wars is going anywhere, I don't think Star Wars is dying or anything. But I, I definitely could see how people say that they're getting fatigued from it. Although I feel like the fatigue came from having, you know, a new movie every year from 2015 to 2019. We had a new Star Wars movie every single year. But I like that, you know. I think it was, it was pretty cool. I mean, I wish Solo would have came out, you know, like Christmas time 2018. Instead of, like, what was it, May of 2018? Because that was just barely, like, right off the heels of Last Jedi. And, like, people are still really salty about Last Jedi. But I feel like December of 2018, you know, people had kind of gotten over it. And were like, okay, yeah, no, like, it would have been a much better time to release it. Come on, can he freaking stop? Blocking. But I do think that the the Mandalorian is definitely shown. That there's still a huge market for Star Wars content, and I feel like it's you know likely in the form of TV shows. Like, I still really enjoy going to see Star Wars movies. Like, I love seeing 
Rise of Skywalker, I've seen it like four times in theaters. I want to go see it even more. Ooh, wait, was that Maul? Yeah! Yeah, so I want to go see it even more. But... But in terms of just, like, the general public, I feel like releasing that many Star Wars movies, like a Star Wars movie every year, can definitely, yeah, like, get people a little bit burnt out on stuff. Um, but I think that's where, like, shows like Mandalorian and other d different Star Wars TV shows can kind of fill the gap. Because, I mean, between, what, Revenge of the Sith came out in 2005, and then uh, Force Awakens came out in 2015, so there was a decade there. Of no Star Wars, I'm, well, I guess you could count the Clone Wars movie as a Star Wars movie, but that was like it was animated and it wasn't like live action. So, mm. but I think that was still like 2008 or something. So even if you count it by that, it was still what like seven years between those Star Wars movies. And I definitely feel like yeah, Star Wars died down a lot in that time. But I still feel like what kind of kept it still going through that was Clone Wars. Clone Wars and Rebels. Because Clone Wars is such a great TV show. You know? Like, yeah, it's not the original trilogy, so you're not going to get a major amount of those, like, old school fans that are in, like, their 40s and 50s or whatever that, you know, grew up in the 70s and 80s watching the original Star Wars movies. But you get a lot of the prequel fans like me. Like, I didn't grow up then. You know, I'm way younger than that. So what I grew up with was the prequels. And now the sequels. But, all in all, I think they need to do more Clone Wars stuff. Rebels. Resistance is cool, but I feel like Resistance is targeting like, an even younger audience than, like, Clone Wars was. Like, Clone Wars was like, alright, our general audience here is from, like, 6, from, probably, I don't know, like, 8 to 16, the Resistance is, like, 6 to 12. I mean, obviously, adults can enjoy, you know, anything. Just because there's, like, an age thing doesn't mean, like, oh, yeah, no. Oh, come on, dang it, and we lost, I think. Cause, yeah, nobody's on the objective! You tell me I was the only cat on the objective? What the fetch, man? Is AI in co-op? Does that mean when I run out of PlayStation Plus I can't play co-op? Um, I think so. Because you're playing online, technically, with other people. So, like, I was playing with Wildcard, Scarlet, and Peanut. I think you still need PlayStation Plus. Do I play Fortnite? Um, I've played it before. But it's not like a game I play regularly. I haven't played it in probably almost two years now. Although, I feel like I, I want to try it out again. And I, you know, I'm going to give it another chance and maybe try and play it somewhat regularly. Just like kind of on occasion, I guess. So I feel like it's not a bad game. So it's something worth trying. We couldn't grant you the rewards. What freaking rewards are you talking about? Oh my gosh, see, and it says it again. If it just said it like once every time you started it up, I'd be okay, rather than four times every ten minutes. Infiltrator class, ooh. Okay, so I need what, like almost 30,000 more score? Alright. Ooh, but check this out. Full screen this biz. Come on. It's because I'm freaking right here and it's trying to auto focus on me. Come on. 
There we go. Check out that figure, dude. So cool looking. That's the... What's this guy called? Do they give him a name? I think they do. The First Order Jet Trooper. Ooh. That's pretty cool. And then... That's going to build just a regular like First Order Stormtrooper or something. Separatist is pretty cool, although I want to try Republic again. And I feel like maybe after this match, I might be done with Battlefront for the night. I might play a little bit later, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll uh, got a couple things I want to do, so I'll play like another match or two. And then we'll probably call it there for this stream. Might play some Modern Warfare tonight or something else too. Whoa! You just went flying out my hands. There you go. What? Oh, there he is. Got him. Alright. Ooh, so looks so good. Sort of looks cool too. Okay. Try this biz. Dude, I don't get what the heck is happening here when I start out like this. It's like, ooh, and the camera goes all sideways and it's like, oh, no. Okay. Sure, dude spawns like looking at the ground or something stupid. Who just shot me? Ow. got me. Gosh dang it. Alright, try that again. Are we right next to a gunship? No, we're next to a dropship thing, huh? This just latches onto like an ATTE. They have a Lego set for that dude that I wanted to get so bad when I was younger, but it, I think it's like $250 is what it started out as. But now it's like, it's probably over 500 for new. But it came with like a dropship thing. It came with this and a little transport thing. But apparently I've heard that it could also work on the Lego ATTE, which I actually have that set. So it would work with it. So I was like, oh dude, that'd be so cool. And I really wanted to get that. Yo, what's up, dude? I don't love this pistol with it. All its recoil and junk. Not great. Hey, I got the guy with my turret. Cool. Objective captured. There we go, 34 for the officer. He's getting there. Waiting on objectives. Uh oh. Hold up. Back up. Do they ever have any episodes of Clone Wars in Felucia? Because as far as I know, Felucia was only ever in Revenge of the Sith. And it was just that like scene with uh Elias Sakura. With the uh, Order 66. Is that the only time they ever have Felucia in Star Wars? Uh oh. 
go back up, back up, back up. Detonate the one down there. And I can place a new one up here. his boss. Take him out. He's gonna wreck me if I stay there basically any longer. So what if I help out on A instead? Felicia was in one episode of Clone Wars? Yeah, I think it was... He just blasted me with a wrist rocket point blank. It was, uh... I think it was like season 4 or 5, right? It was a lot later... Ooh, dude, I think one of my favorite series of Clone Wars was the Umbara ones. That was, like, one of the cool... Basically, anything with the clones. Like, storylines about the clones in Clone Wars are the best. Like, the whole rookies, clone cadets, and uh, the attack on Kamino one. That's sick. That Citadel whole thing, that one was really cool. The Geonosis one with, like, Waxer and Boyle. Ryloth with Ra Waxer and Boyle. Like, those are some of the coolest, like, storylines. Do I accept friend requests? Yeah, dude. On uh, any platform, so Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, you know. Okay. You got Darth Maul. That's good. Strength. Strength. <sighs> yeah, Modern Warfare right now. I feel like... The average, like, skill bracket is just so sweaty. It's just not fun. You know? Like, I'm having a lot of fun sitting here playing, even against bots. Like, these are just AIs. I don't care, because I'm having fun. Like, I don't know why. Activision and Infinity War, they don't seem to understand that. They, they don't seem to understand that, you know, people, not everybody has fun sweating their nuts off. Like, that's just not that fun, having to always try. Like, right now, I'm, like, building a Lego set, hanging out, talking to you guys. Couldn't do this in Modern Warfare. I'd get blasted. I'd be going, like, 8 and 30. This one, Lego Star Wars game on the 3DS. Um, was that the complete saga? Because I know that they had Lego Star Wars 1 on the Game Boy. I have that one. I don't know if they ever had did Lego Star Wars 2 on the Game Boy. Then I know they have Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, I think, on... I think DS, yes. Yeah, so I think that's the one, right? Wait, what? Did I just slash him with a lightsaber? Should I be Yoda? Yeah, Yoda's pretty low. Come on, we got 12 seconds and we got it. Let's go. <laughs> Ranks him up. Sup, Holmes? Oh, look at that cool outfit. That's the Umbra one for the Arc Trooper. Oh, baby. Dude, look how cool that is. That's a sick outfit.
cool. Yoda's actually a pretty cool character. He's, you know, he's different. Lego Star Wars 3. The, oh, the Clone Wars game. Yeah, I was actually playing that earlier today. Yeah, I like that one. It's, I don't know. It's pretty cool. But I just wished that they had more content for the game. Because the game's pretty great. And I mean, it's a Lego Star Wars game, but it's based off Clone Wars, which is really cool. But the thing that bugged me is, like, Clone Wars has, like, what, six seasons? And then in February, they're coming out with a seventh? And, I mean, it, it makes sense for, like, the time-wise when the game was developed and came out and stuff. They could only really include season one and two content. But I wish they would have put out, like, an update for it or it had a second game that had, like, seasons three, four, five, and six or something. I think that would have been great. There is no but there is that new LEGO Star Wars game coming out this summer. That has all nine movies, has one through nine, so prequels, original trilogy, and the sequels, which is cool. I do like that. I'm definitely going to get that. It's going to be really sweet. But still, it's just like, well, then what about Clone Wars still? And the Mandalorian stuff. And then they have that Force Awakens game. I bought that. I played like the first two levels, and then I've never played it since. So I guess I could go back and play through that, but. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was about to die. Yeah, dude, see all my health just drain so quick. It was like, alright, ready? 400 and 200, 100 bound. Done. A Lego Star Wars set were you building? I was building the Pasana Speeder Chase. This is from The Rise of Skywalker. It has Rey. BB-8, and two Stormtroopers. Pretty cool. Alright, I think this is the last objective, right? Freaking go, dude. stuff. Yeah, it's a pretty cool set. Oh my gosh, he got me? He wasn't even attacking after me. He's going after that other cat. I'm gonna try to be Yoda again. The stream is the longest one I've watched. Thanks, bro. Cuckoo. I like streaming. You know, like usually if I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna hang out and chill and play games, I usually try and stream it. There we go. We got Darth Maul. I also do, one thing I like about the Clone Wars TV show is how they actually show, like, Yoda doing stuff, Mace Windu doing stuff, and a bunch of the different Jedi. Because in the movies, the only time we really see Yoda doing stuff is when, in uh, Attack of the Clones, when he's facing Count Dooku, and then in Revenge of the Sith, when he's facing the Emperor. Which, honestly, that's really cool. I loved seeing Yoda face both those guys, but that was it. Clankers are playing for 
Okay, here we go, here we go. We got this right here. Oh, previous. Ah, oh, I died. Uh, I don't think Yoda can block really well. Alright, come on, we got 30 seconds. Yeah, I should be heavy. Oh, come on, come on, somebody get on it, get on it, get on it, we need a Jedi or somebody. Come on, Anakin, 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 run, 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 no! Somebody run! We're so screwed, get on it, get on it, get on it, we're done. Dang, guys. Ugh. We almost had it, too. It's just when Grievous and Dooku came in. Was it Grievous and Dooku, or was it Grievous and... Who was that? Oh, no, it was Darth Maul, huh? When they came in, we got whooped. But there we go. 6 to 10 for Yoda, 32 to 35 on Officer, and Anakin is 18 to 19. I also got a bunch of stuff, or heavy, too. So, lots of XP and stuff that we're getting. That was pretty good. Um, yeah, we can also check what level and stuff we're at. So, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to 50. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. GG. Thanks, bro. So, actually, recently, I've uh, started considering doing uh, videos on some of these Lego Star Wars things, like sets. It's like it's something I'm building right now. Um... Oh, man, you guys can't see it right now. Darn it. If I go full screen... Yeah, I still can't kind of see it. Here. I'll try my best to show you guys this. Just gotta sit down my controller. Alright, I gotta move some of this stuff. Gotta move my switch. Elite controller. Dang it! Still can't really see. So, right here. Uh, maybe I can lift up the camera? I don't know how well this is going to work. No, that's about as good as it's going to get. Dang it, let me duck. So back there, in that corner, I have... Tons of Lego sets. Tons of them. You can see the Millennium Falcon back there. Lego sets going up all the way up, up almost to the ceiling, up on the wall there, dude. And I just have a ton of sets that I've gotten recently, so. It's pretty cool. I, uh, I'm thinking about doing videos and stuff on those. Because actually, I started out on YouTube 11 years ago? 11 or 12 years ago. I guess with 2020, it would be 12 years ago. So forever ago is when I started on YouTube. And when I started on YouTube, a lot... This wasn't the very first video I posted, but for the first like couple years on YouTube, first like three or four years, the things I would post on YouTube were Lego videos. So I did like Lego Star Wars videos. And... It was pretty cool. Eventually, you know, I got into video games more and started, you know, a gaming channel like this. And this is what my channel is kind of based off of, at least this one. But originally, I had a Lego channel. So I'm thinking about starting that up again and doing more Lego videos. So I'm probably going to start that up here, like, this weekend. Start doing more of that stuff. But I don't know. I really just enjoyed, like, building Legos, playing with Legos, getting new sets and stuff. Especially Lego Star Wars stuff. I mean, all Legos are cool, but, like... The only ones I care about are Lego Star Wars. Everything else to me is just kind of bleh. But still pretty cool though. So I'm, uh, I am got all those sets and stuff to build. And we're going to be probably doing that on another channel and stuff too. So 
that'll be another channel, other content coming out. So if you guys are interested in stuff like that, then uh, you guys can check that out. But that's going to do it for Battlefront 2 for right now. Um, I might be back streaming probably maybe later tonight. We'll see. If Harrison gets on later tonight, I might play some more Battlefront 2. I might stream some Modern Warfare a little bit later too. But got some stuff I got to do. But I thank you guys so much for watching. While well, you guys could, I really do appreciate it. You guys are the best. And yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.